All right. Uh, good morning, India. Uh, my name is Johnson. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? That's good. Um, I'm good, thank you. Uh, so let me start the interview by telling you a little bit about myself. I'm currently a student studying in Endeavour College, uh, completing my Bachelor of Health Science. And part of my assessment is to conduct interviews while under the supervision of a qualified health practitioner, which we'll be doing today. And in doing this interview, I'll be developing my interpersonal skills and interview strategies, which will help me move close to my goal of becoming a holistic practitioner. So next, I'll need to get your informed consent. So uh, during this interview, I'll be asking personal private questions while taking notes. My supervisor will be looking over these notes as well. All of this information will be kept uh, confidential unless there is a slight possibility of self-harm or harm to others. It will be securely stored in a filing cabinet uh, within this clinic. Uh, do you consent to these terms and conditions? Yeah. That's good. Um, so India, prior to today's in interview, have you seen a health practitioner before? Uh, yeah, I have, yeah. Okay, and uh, what advice was given to you? Diet, exercise, and sleep advice. Okay. Is there anything that you would have changed about the advice? Yeah, I found it was a lot to take on at the beginning, um, almost too much. It was a bit unmanageable. Okay, that's, that's understandable. Um, so now I'll basically give you an uh, overrun of the interview. So it'll be about one hour. I'll be asking questions about your past and present health conditions using the holistic approach, along with your coping mechanisms, uh, the stress. Afterward, I will ask you to wait outside in about 20 minutes, and then I'll go over your assessment by supervisor. Do you have any questions about this? Uh, no. That's good. So, India, what um, brought you into the clinic today? Uh, my poor diet. Uh, how, long have you, how long have you been experiencing this? Over the past 12 months. Okay, it's not, not, not too long ago. And um, next I'll be asking you about your genetic family history. So um, do you have any uh, family history of diabetes or obesity? Yeah, my grandmother has diabetes and is overweight. My sister has pre-diabetes. Um, not too sure about the rest of my family members. Okay, that's all right if you don't know the the whole history of your family. Um, but this information will really help us to um, you know, improve your diet and good other factors. Uh, how old are you, India? 28. Okay, still young. That's that's positive. And um, have you had any uh, stressful experience prior to the onset of your poor diet? Yeah, I have. My grandfather passed away recently and I've undertaken full-time study at university over the last 12 months. And, okay. yes, it was a very stressful time in my life. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, that sounds like a lot. Um, uh, yeah, that's quite a lot of things happening, your, your grandfather passing away and then study. So that's quite understandable. Um, do you feel like, uh, how do you feel this has affected your eating habits? I eat more unhealthily. Oh, okay. That's, um, yeah. That, uh, uh, then again, that's, uh, that's quite hard um, in these times. Yeah. Um, and uh, another question, were there times in the past when your stress levels didn't affect your eating habits? I would say before my grandfather passed away and I started my full-time studies, I wouldn't indulge in unhealthy foods as much. Okay, that's that, that's good. And um, thanks for answering all these questions, especially the sensitive topics about your grandfather. These things can be quite hard. And so uh, next I'll be asking you about your personality. So what type of personality do you feel like you lean more towards? Are you introverted, extroverted? Are you more anxious? I would say... Yeah, more anxious and introverted. Okay, yep. Um, do you feel like this affects, how do you feel like this affects your coping mechanisms with dealing with stress? It makes me eat more sweet foods. Okay, so more so more stress, more eating unhealthy foods. So, um, yeah, that's understandable. And so on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, 1 being not stressed, 10 being highly stressed, what would you rate your activity levels during the day? Well, an eight. That's, yeah, I consider that's, that's, that's quite stressed. And um, by seeing that as well, I can see many factors playing a role in your stress levels so far in that interview. Do you, do you feel like you see the same thing? Yeah, I do. It's quite a lot. 
that's that's good you're um yeah acknowledging it it's a positive and um this is something we can work towards together later on and so next i'll be asked about your income basis so uh uh, what hours are you working? Are you working full time, part time, and is this enough uh, income to you know provide yourself with um, healthy foods? No, I'm working part time, uh, and I do find it hard to afford healthier options. Okay, um, yeah, this is also something we can work together. Yeah, um, better source foods. Yeah, something like that. And um, do you believe there's more to constructing a healthy eating plan than just buying healthy foods? I do believe there may be more to planning a healthy diet, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay, that's okay. We can, we can set guidelines for you. I can set some guidelines. So next I'll be asking about your um, your activity level during the day. So one being inactive and then 10 being um, very active. Where do you sit? I'd say about three, not very active. Okay, that, that's all right. You don't have to feel like bad or, or um, like you're not working hard enough because, you know, you have a highly stressed state um, during the day. So um, this can put a lot of pressure on us and make everything overwhelming. So, but we can slowly improve that as uh, we work together. And uh, yeah, so next question. Uh, do you have a social support network, someone that you can talk to or a group of people when you're stressed? Yeah, my older sister. Oh, that's good, yeah. Um, yeah, family is, family is one of the better ones to have. Um, as you grow up together and things like this, it can help a lot. That's great. So um, next I'm going to go over the um, the key issues that I picked up in the interview thus far about uh, what's making you more susceptible to eating a less healthy diet. And so what I picked up was um, the possibility for genetic diabetes, so your grandmother having diabetes and your sister having prediabetes. And the second one is uh your coping mechanisms for stress. So the coping mechanisms for stress you have is eating more unhealthy when you're stressed. And then your daily stress levels, which increases the um, unhealthy eating. And it's kind of like a loop. And then also the last one, the fourth one, is your your ability to find affordable, healthy food on your lower budget. And so do you feel like um, these uh, play a role in your uh, eating habits? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, that's good. On the same on the same page there and um so next i'll be um asking you what's your um expectations and goals for this consultation and working with me i'd like to mainly improve my diet okay that's, that's good um and uh, do you have a time span in which you would like to achieve this goal say four weeks okay that's um, that's good you told me now so um, I'll be able to discuss, discuss to you now about what I can help you with and what I cannot. So I can help you with all the factors that we talked about just now, but the four weeks, I'll have to extend that to 12 weeks um, because if we do it, in, do it in four weeks, it'll create a lot of stress for you and then it'll feed back on your stress loop and unhealthy eating. So 12 weeks um, will be long enough and these things are multifaceted. So just take your time and um, mm -hmm. are you happy with that? Yeah, yeah. Got it, something that we can work towards. Um, so, yeah, so um, that will uh, include the first part of the interview. And so what I'll get you to do now is wait outside for about 20 minutes and I'll go over your assessment with my supervisor and I'll talk it over with him and um, we'll make a plan for you. So if you just go out to your left and there'll be filtered water on the left and then on the right, the bath we can use. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay. Thanks. All right, see you soon. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye.